mate, I have got a a banging video for you today. I'm telling you, mate. When I first decided to cover crop circles, I, I've got to be honest with you. I took it with a pinch of salt, right? Because eighty percent of me thought this is probably man-made. You don't really hear it that often. In fact, nobody's talking about crop circles anymore. Nobody's creating. It's everyone's talking about aliens and UFOs, which rightfully so. And more of that's coming from from me. Okay, very soon. But I thought I'd cover crop circles. Okay, but I'm so glad that I have because <laughs> this has opened up so many avenues. It's unreal. Like when I thought of crop circles, I thought, yeah, patterns and images, you know, in fields. Oh my God, mate. The meanings and the possibilities of what these things are and how these things are made, right, will absolutely blow your mind. I've got videos and images. It's crazy. So buckle up, mate. This... <laughs> You're going to be blown away by this, all right? So I'm going to show you a video. For, basically, first of all, crop circles, just very quickly, are something that came around like um, in the early, like in the in the 80s, I think it was, or something like that. Um, and people were like, oh my God, this is aliens creating these images. Um, and then a load of people started literally making them, right? Some people started going out and... That you could get like a stick in the middle of the field with a lawnmower tied to a piece of rope and then just let it go. And after a while, it just it just like goes into a big circle. And they would just do that. They would go out there and there was actually a team that went out and proved that these things were man-made. However, some of these crop circles cannot be explained. And I've got images um, and videos of showing you why they can't be explained, right? And why they are just so incredible that Mr. Joe Bloggs down the road, right, isn't going to whip up a couple of mates and go and do this. Here is a video um, which was 16 years ago of two orbs making a crop circle, all right? Now, I'm not too convinced that this is real. I'm not too sure. You let me um, you tell me what you think, but here it is anyway, right? Look, just watch. I'm not, t I just don't know. I think it's just because it's so good to be true, you know? Countryside, Oliver's Castle, Wiltshire, Wiltshire. 1989. Yeah, here we go. See, somewhere. the There's 80s again, right? The 80s. Um, and also what I'd like to say is this, crop circles do happen around the world, okay? Especially in like, California and Texas, if you're talking about the US, all right? Um, but most of crop circles happen in the UK, southwest of the UK. Unfortunately, I've never seen one in real life. I would love to. I might go out and try and find one, mate. This controversial film Look. appears to show strange objects hovering above a cornfield. Below, complex circle formations appear. That's crazy. Like, mate, he is weird. I've seen him once before. Who is this guy? Is he some sort of... I, I don't know what he is, but I remember seeing some... Uh, a woman interviewing him, and he was like, Hey, uh, light up a turn of face. He just like, seems so evil. Anyway, anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm sidetracking. So that is the video of these orbs creating um, crop circles. Now, right, hang on. This is where it starts to get really interesting, all right? So, I have got some images here. In fact, can I play it? I'm gonna try and play it. I might get claimed. If I, if I do, I might, I might have to just put some images in front of you, right? Because I have copied some images. But, listen to this. This is, um, this is from the History Channel. And um, this is the this is one of the videos that just made me think, oh my god, there's a lot more into this than I thought. Listen to this first bit. 2004, a mysterious rock was found near the Roswell crash site, bearing the same image as a crop circle that was discovered in Chiseldon, England, on August 2nd, 1996. <laughs> 
on the Roswell rock, you have an almost identical symbol in England. To me, it's very fascinating because Look at it that. essentially shows that they're trying. Look at that. You've got Roswell incident with a rock just occurred, right? And years later, you've got the same image on a field. That made me just go, what? I mean, yeah, it could be somebody that is well into the Roswell incident in the UK, like knew about this rock and went, oh, do you know what? I'm going to make it on this field. I'm going to make that image on this field. But I mean, you've got to think about it. First of all, you've got to find somebody that is well into the Roswell incident from the UK. All right. Enough to want to go out and make an image of that rock in a field that he probably doesn't own. <laughs> right? What's the chances of that? Or you could say, well, maybe it's his own field. Okay, if it's his own field, he's got to be really into the Roswell incident from the UK who owns a farm, who owns a huge field, right? And is capable of doing that and also willing to do that. Right? And destroy thousands of pounds worth of his own bloody crops. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. Right? It doesn't make sense. So I just saw that. I was like, holy moly. But oh my God, just wait. Just wait. Because this next one, again, I just hope, I hope you guys can see it. I hope YouTube just allows it. Right? This is the one that absolutely blew my mind. Advanced astronomical. Listen to this. Scientific and mathematical equations contained within them. One formation had everyone baffled and people were saying, well, what is this? Then a mathematician had a look at it and said, wait a minute, that's a representation of pi. And it's correct, down to 10 decimal places. I, mate, a crop circle with the representation of pi, right? Look how it's, look how they've worked this out. This is incredible. The representation of pi in a geometric sense. It's kind of interesting because the way you get pi out of it is the lengths of the different arcs in each segment. And what happens is there's these little notches in the spiral that let you know you're at the end of an arc. So you actually have to measure the arc lengths as you go around and their lengths give you the digits of pi. And there's a little circle to give you the decimal point. Mate, are you are you seriously going to tell me that Farmer John, right, him and his mate Boris, okay, are going to whip out into their own field and just create a perfectly formationed pie diagram or whatever like that? Uh, that is absolutely mind-boggling. And again, like I say, if I, if I can't show that video, I'm just going to put some images up for you to see. But holy moly! Isn't that incredible? So it's a really interesting example of using geometry as a code for representing digits and numbers. And they were saying, because, um, you know, if we do contact aliens, we won't use English or French or German, a, a language to communicate. We'll probably use mathematics to communicate. Oh, mate. But hang on, <laughs> hang on, because this just goes even further into the rabbit hole, mate. It, like, this is crazy. The rabbit hole, whatever. It probably is it the rabbit hole, whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, hang on a second. Oh, I, I've just flicked over this screen. I didn't even see this, right? Started so Googling. It, NASA puzzled by huge 8,000 year old mystery structures in Ka Ka Kazakhstan that resemble ancient crop circles. 8,000 years ago, mate. Look at this thing. Look at this. NASA has released pictures of huge patterns drawn on the ground in Kazakhstan in an attempt to solve the mystery behind how they got there. The huge formations are known as the Step, step 
geographists, um, I, I can't pronounce that word, scientists have little idea of how they are formed, but think that solving the mystery could lead to huge change in how we understand early humans. There are around 260 of these designs, which are carved into the ground and made out of piles of earth, assembled into shapes that include squares, rings, swastika um, shapes. The oldest of them are thought to be about 8,000 years old. Look at them, mate. Uh, but NASA is now joining the hunt to find out how exactly they got there. NASA has released a range of satellite images showing them photographed from the first time in an attempt to catalogue and detail them. The land around the symbols was once a key destination from Stone Age tribes looking to, uh, for places to hunt. But scientists would previously not have expected that such a population would have the time or the organisation to build and dig huge symbols that's mad mate look at these right look at them that could be like maybe the blueprints for a pyramid to be made i don't know this one will blow your mind mate and if you think it's still humans making this this might just make you go oh, hang on a second right crop formation that unmistakably looks like an extraterrestrial, the proverbial grey with the almond eyes and the triangular shaped head. And there's also at the bottom, there seems to be a computer disk and what looked like binary code. The mess. So that is binary code. Like what? You can imagine, right? A bloody hard drive. Yeah? Bloody hard drive. These hard drives. And inside there is a disc. And it's oh mate, I it's it's crazy. It's crazy, but listen to the message. What they decrypted this. They decrypted it. Look, watch. Message allegedly says beware the bearers of false gifts and their broken promises. Much pain, but still time. There is good out there. We oppose deceivers. Conduit closing. Do you honestly still think this is Farmer Barry, right? Farmer John and Barry. Barry and Boris and... <laughs> what? Man, that's incredible. That is incredible. Right, okay. Hang on. Right, so let's get into the nitty gritty, right? Because we have just begun. Remember what I said about how they're formed, okay? We did see that video of these orbs going around and and making them, right? Now, the other option... Now, I, when I saw how humans made them, it was literally like long planks of wood with rope and they would either walk it around or or get it on a pulley system right and it would flatten the corn right and to this day well not to this day beforehand i thought that this was still how they made them okay and even sort of um if there was aliens that made them they would literally push this push it down okay <laughs> oh no mate Oh, no, no, no. Some woman in her, her, her own farm, right? In her field, she's gone out and she's literally recorded and shown what happens on these crop circles. You won't believe what happens to these crops, mate. Watch. A new crop circle appeared in Wiltshire. And what did I do? I went to check it out. I'm no expert. It's really hard to tell if it's man-made or it's Oh, I'm else. sorry. It was her. She, she, she checked out. Work. I mean, I guess it's for you to decide. But there was one thing that really kind of like made me question things. If it was human-made, they would probably use something to flatten it with. And uh -huh. through that, they would cause injury. And you could see some places on the plant where it's actually broken. Mm -hmm. But here, it's a little bit different. It is really, really interesting because every single one of them that is standing straight is standing straight right but these ones the ones that are laying they are a little bent you see they're a little bent and there's always like this 
Look at look look. So right on the knuckle, right on the knuckle. She shows you in a minute. These 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 ones in the background with the ones which aren't bent over, like f folded over. These knuckles are all straight, but the ones on the floor and the knuckle are bent, mate. Joins, which is the options if we're talking about straight plans. See, I compare this one to this one, and it immediately bends. Look at it. Whereas here, you can't see any of this happening among the straight ones. They're all straight, and they don't have any bends. She shows all you on the ground now. Every single one, look, that are on the ground laying bends. Bend. Mate, I've seen this before, but it's just still blowing my mind. It's still blowing my mind. And see? Like, these bends, see here, everywhere. They're everywhere, here. Look at this. Bend. All of these bends exist only on the ones that are flat, whereas those, they don't have it. See? Straight. All of them are straight! Guys, all of them are straight! <laughs> Bar the ones which are lying down. Mate, when I saw that, I got the chicken, right? I got the chicken. I just didn't know what the hell I was watching. I don't know. I don't know. Well. And so the mystery continues. All right, hang on. Right? Hang on. Hang on. Okay? Right, we're, we're start it feels like a roller coaster we're on at the moment, right? And we're, we, we, we're, we're, just, we're just at the top now. And we're hanging over. And we're looking. We're looking at the drop. Because now comes the drop. Mind his voice. They've changed his voice so it, for, for copyright, all right? Listen. Electronics often go wrong in crop circles. Some people... Will Electronics go wrong in crop circles in some of them. Probably the ones which are real and not man-made. Will describe a strange tingling, headaches, or feeling rather ill. My name is Andy Thomas, and I'm a researcher of mysteries and the paranormal and crop circles. I began investigating crop circles in 1991. Something really hit me, and it just touched me inside, and I thought, I need to know more about this. 27 years on, I'm still going. The question of the origins of crop circles has never yet been nailed. Many think, you know, there's an intelligence behind them. They think they're made by aliens or extra dimensionals. I mean, it's a big universe. There must be other life out there. Whether it's coming here, of course, is one of the great debates. It may well be that we are being visited by other intelligences and maybe they feel like leaving some graffiti in the fields. Or maybe it's more than that, that they are trying to very gently make people aware of them in a way that doesn't create fear. It has. Yeah, so that's a good, that's a good theory, right? They want to. They want us to know that they're there. Like, <clears throat> how else would you sort of show that you know you you mean no harm, right? Art, I suppose, is one perfect way. Yeah, there's no words which can be sort of like mis mis um misinterpreted, right? Um, but by art, you can show like peace, right? It has been argued the slow acclimatization process of little patterns built up a little bit more and a bit more every year is a way of getting us used to the idea of otherness. But there are. That's the bloody. Th that's the Roswell. Wasn't it? That looked like the Roswell rock thing that we saw earlier. Many, many other theories. Some very strange, some religious, some you would never even imagine. I have had some very strange experiences myself around the circles. I was with a group of two other colleagues and we were up on a hillside looking down over a field with crop circles in it. And we saw three of these small glowing balls of light. So I have seen it for my- Maybe he's the guy that recorded that video that we saw at the beginning. Because there were three orbs, right? And that's the only one that I can find. Myself, and I know it's there. We cannot say what they were, but they would appear above the field and then suddenly just fly away. And we also witnessed on another occasion in the same week strange, very dark shapes flying very, very quickly over the fields. And there was no reasonable explanation as to what they were that we could find. They were soundless, they were quite eerie. 
in the famous Mel Gibson film, Signs. Of course, the crop circles in that film. Are, oh, man, I need to watch that film again. It's been years since I saw that. Uh, announcing the arrival of rather evil aliens. But I don't personally feel that that's what's going on. There feels something very benevolent about crop circles. I don't sense anything of evil intent, and it would seem to me a strange thing to do. Whoa, mate, is that an image of an alien? It bloody is, man. Oh, look, if you go far away, you can see it. That's a, that's a grey. Mate. Wow. Do just kind of make these beautiful patterns if you wanted to scare anybody. And I don't feel that that is what's going on. It's going to be something rather stranger and more... Like, look how... I'm sorry, right? I've just seen a car just travel past here. Look how high the, the, the... Like, these things... I mean, they can get really high. But, like, the ones I've seen in the UK, maybe the, the corn comes to about here, like, shoulder height, maybe a bit higher... Yeah? Imagine just going around with a lawn mowing, just like, where, where, which bit? I've got to go over there, right? Like, perfectly symmetrical. Just, right, one, two, three steps, turn 90 degrees, yeah, okay. No, mate, no, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Or subtle, but certainly, yeah, I think that they're not evil. If they are evil, well, they're too beautiful, it seems to me. Crop circles tend to appear in any given country, as you would imagine, in the summer months. Although sometimes you do get them out of season in winter crops or even occasionally, you know, laid into snow and ice. Is that the same thing? We're not sure. Oh, mate, that's a little teaser. That's a little teaser of what I'm going to show you in a bit, all right? A little teaser there for you, mate, okay? Because... Right, no, no, I don't want to spoil it. Hang on. But the ones that appear in the fields, of course, you're going to get when the fields are up. If you consider that it might be an intelligent force behind it, well, it's going to use the canvas, which is going to work best for it. Look at that, mate. Some crop circles have had direct information in them. There was one very famous one in 2002 that looked like the classic alien holding a disk of a, a binary code. Well that can generate text on a computer. And the message was, beware the bearers of false gifts and their broken promises. And then it went on to- We saw that one, right, with the digital. Warn about the opposed deception and that the conduit was closing. Oh, mate, jellyfish. Jellyfish UFO, <laughs> Jellyfish UFO, maybe? So many people thought that was very portentous. <laughs> I think you could meet aliens uh, through various ways, actually. Probably standing around in a field isn't necessarily the best way to see one. Uh, I think going to UFO spots uh, where people say they see them a lot, you're more likely to uh, perhaps be taken up on board one of the ships. Uh, whether that's an experience you want is another matter. As some people have come back with all kinds of interesting tales. Wow. And with crop circles and UFOs, it is absolutely clear that they are not telling the truth. The intense debunking that we've seen of the crop circles over the years and the flat refusal of the media especially to even acknowledge them much in the last few years, in a way says that there's something they're afraid of. And I think Ooh. it's very clear that the authorities know more than they are letting on to us. Ooh, mate, okay. I, this is what I'm saying. It's sort of like it was a big thing. Years ago, I remember as a kid, people were talking about it and that, and then all of a sudden, nobody's speaking about it ever again, you know? Because they must keep tabs on any strange phenomena. It would be in their interest. They do, they're, uh, sorry to interrupt again, but there's two websites apparently that you can go and check out. Every crop circle that is made, or pretty much everyone, is actually now documented on this website. Um, I can't remember the websites. I'll try and find them and, and put them in the description below. We would almost hope they would, because they're meant to be protecting us, one hopes. We were doing experiments in the mid-1990s, trying to see could the power of the mind in any way have something to do with it. And we'd done an experiment where we'd drawn a crop circle, sort of basically, fairly simple, six circular elements in a line. And we had performed some kind of meditation, if you want to call it that, up on a hillside. And that exact shape appeared as a crop circle that very night. We no fucking, no way, mate. I'm calling BS on that. Really? We didn't make it, we had nothing to do with it, and it was perfect, it was a beautiful formation. That really, I think because of the connection we felt with that, whatever was going on, that's probably my favorite crop circle. So you're saying that I could go in my back garden now, right? And just imagine the lawn being mowed, right? Mow the lawn, mow the lawn, all flat. No shapes, just flat, cut it. Tonight, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna test it out. <laughs> I'm gonna test it out. Of all time. 
would... Skepticism is an issue. It's easy to have a very basic opinion, but you know as soon as you talk to them, they have never looked at the detail. People do say, oh, you're just a flat earther, and I go, no, I'm not. I don't believe that. But, you know, that's the way it goes. And what... Well, see, it, it, it's, it's true, though, mate, because... The thing is, I was sceptical. Going into this, I was pretty much sceptical. I was like, I, I think crop circles are pushing it. But, mate, I, I, after seeing all this and looking what he says at the detail, especially about those those corns being bent like that around the, on the knuckle of it, it's like, what? What I always say to people is, look, if you want to be sceptical, electronic... Oh, great. <laughs> the cliffhanger there. <laughs> all right, so that's, that's that, okay? Um, I thought this was great. Okay. We're going to go into another area now, all right? We're sort of, we're still on it. In fact, no, we're very much on it. Um, but I might veer off right near the end of the video, which explain this next part. Listen to this, mate. Hang on, is it this one? When you look at crop yeah. circles or snowflakes, that is purely a picture that represents the sound of the environment. Yeah. Yes. Mate, this is, this is crazy. Now, when you take sound that has been recorded from the rings of Saturn, and you take sound from the inside of crop circles, they are an exact pitch for pitch match. What? But the rings of Saturn are being used as, as guitar strings, and they are transmitting within an hour and a half messages within sound, and Stonehenge, which is a crystalline aerial, which is aligned to Saturn in the planet sphere. Hey, I'm learning this now because I, I, I literally, I saw that he was talking about crop circles and sound and I saved it. I haven't listened to it yet. He's taking that and he's just creating a picture that represents that sound. And that is why the majority of crop circles are around Stonehenge. Somebody said to, to, to me once, uh, I created this crop circle and I said to them, how did you encrypt diatonic ratios? And they couldn't answer me because they didn't do it. Yeah. Now, diatonic ratios are basically non-natural sound frequencies that are found in crop circles. When you take a sort of audio, advanced audio equipment, and you take away the sound from the crop circles and you mimic that on the machine, it's the same picture as a crop circle. So the picture- Oh my God, what? Man, you've seen it, right? You've seen these like teachers and stuff. And they get all these students around. They get a big plate, like this big plate, this steel plate, and then they throw some rice on there or whatever, and they go, ding, and the rice just like formate, uh, formulates it into this little beautiful pattern, and then they get something else, and they go, boom, and then it shaves away into something else, mate. It's Crazy man. Picture is sound. So right, Wait. okay, hang on, right, we're, we're on to sound now. Okay, we're on to sound. You think I'm crazy? Oh my god, yeah, look at this. New magnetic motor designed from crops. Eight years later, in 2008, an Italian inventor, Umberto Poado began to use crop circles as blueprints to help design new magnetic motors. What? Is that a load of bull? That's got to be a load of bull, isn't it? This is like, this is like that, that thing where on The Simpsons where Homer just right, like, I know, does that formula for like how... The world was made or something and it was it was true to the last decimal point or i don't know what he did did some sort of for, formula on the blackboard what man okay hang on it wasn't that one though so yeah 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 this is this is this is somebody talking about mother earth and like basically the sound that mother earth is 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 vibrating out is actually creating these images look what do you feel about the crop circles it's funny that you instinctively just said that because that's kind of what I've realized they are. They're cymatics of the Earth speaking to us. And what's interesting is there's videos where these little orbs come about and then yes. you see this design being drawn. 
and that those orbs I've learned are the compression of certain materials stacked on top of each other, which then create the orbs. That's where like all those people when they're like, oh, there's all these ghosts over there. Well, there's actually compressions of certain types of materials which stack together, create a chemical reaction, and then you have this orb. But I believe with, this, with the crop circles that it's Mother Earth speaking to us. And when I started to look at all of them, I started to see designs. I started, That's the Avengers, mate. That ain't Mother Earth. I started to see like inventions. I started to see actually a lot of things related to atmospheric energy. You know, I started to see alignments, like things like the eclipse and how like significant the eclipse is. And like even here, we had two eclipses, you know, in two weeks. And if you stared into it, your energy goes through the roof. Wow. You know, so all these things that Mother Earth is trying to communicate with us. And like you said, we used to be tapped into this. We used to be able to see these frequencies or at least tap into that. And we've disconnected and lost that. But the crop circles things just as wild because they even said too that people will meditate in them. Their energy will go very high or they'll notice all these plants, that same thing. The plant growth is like wild. And they noticed, what's the other thing? They noticed like all these different types of rare plants popping up in that same spot. So he was basically saying the same sort of thing, right? Sound resonates from the earth and, and creating these things. Now, once I started hearing about sound and stuff, it just made me think of how um, sound is, what well, we mentioned it a while ago about sound being a healer, okay? And I think also, isn't there something about um, a specific beats per minute or a certain tempo that the music industry uses now which is very destructive for your dna um like if you listen to old music especially classical music classical music is a healer right and i've actually i actually listen to classical music in the mornings now and it's absolutely lovely and if you play play classical music around plants apparently plants also uh grow better and it's something to do with also why birds um, sing in the morning. When birds sing in the morning, they resonate uh, like this sound frequency out, which actually opens up flower buds and things like that. Like it's, it's, it's crazy. It's mad, but it's also very beautiful. Then what I was saying about music is so later on, somebody discovered this particular tempo, which some say is demonic right anyway so listen to this guy this guy is like clicked onto something man and uh, th this is like you'll you'll not see churches in the same way after seeing this man i'm telling you here's a secret that's been kept by cathedrals for a long time this right here is your dna this at the top is your dna from a top-down view these geometric shapes that you see is what we call sacred geometry Sacred geometry is an ancient study that explains energy patterns, like this turtle right here. If you look to the right, what you see here is a sand plate that's connected to some type of instrument that can send out frequency. Now let's just say the instrument is a piano, and when I hit one of the notes on the piano, it shifts the sand into these specific geometric shapes. This is called cymatics, the study of visible sound. You can also do this with liquids. Yeah. Now here's a picture of cymatics in water, top-down view of DNA, and church windows. Notice wow. they are almost identical. Now, how many times have you drove past a church window like this and wonder how the fuck did they come up with that design? They didn't. It's in your DNA. Now, here's something very interesting. Everything has a resonant frequency, which basically means everything has its own frequency. Now, a lady did an experiment where she set up a mic. This is this, mate. This is crazy. The lady did an experiment where she set up a mic in a church like this and recorded the silence. She then set up speakers to play that silence so that it would go back into the mic and keep creating a louder and louder and louder sound. Feedback. To the point to where it was strong enough to show up cymatically. Now, when she played that sound through water, it created these shapes cymatically. And to her surprise, the same shape the sound of the church was making was what the shapes of the windows inside the church look like. Mate, that's mad. That is absolutely mad. If that's true, that is mad. There's only one group of people I know who can build at that level. But anyway, I remember buildings have their own resonant frequency, which means that when you're in the building, your body is being interacted with those frequencies. So if your body is made of 60 to 80% water, and this is what water looks like when it's vibrating, 
That means whatever shape is made by the sound of the church is the shape that your DNA is taking form of. I believe these cathedrals are designed to create healing frequencies to make you feel good when you're inside of the church. This could be part of the reason why people feel good when they enter a church. Not realizing the church is emitting its own healing frequency in alignment with the instruments that are being played by uplifting music scales. Here's a secret that's been... I hope that you came into this video thinking, uh, crop circles, and then come away going, wow, crop circles. <laughs> yeah, because that's how I feel about it. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay. Anyway, mate, there is going to be more alien and UFO footage uh, and, and videos coming soon. Okay. So please make sure you subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.